It's Sean Lamb here for Streaming Media Producer at Annie B 2018. I'm at the VMix booth here with Martin Sinclair. We're here to talk about some of the new things under the hood for VMix. Now, off camera, you were telling me earlier about some of the professional color grading. Uh, what's new for VMix? Yeah, so we're announcing our brand new beta of VMix, VMix 21, just for NAB attendees. And one of the key new features that we're very excited about is professional color correction and grading built right into vMix. It's the first professional grading system for live production. How does it work? I mean, what are we able to control and is it based on individual inputs or just the output? So you can color grade any source in vMix, whether it's a camera or even a video clip that you need to touch up. Uh, graphics, you know, vMix Call, which uh, we announced last year, you can grade those shots. So even if they're using a, a webcam to come into your show, you can make sure it looks and matches the rest of the cameras in your production. I know that for me that's been a huge, huge pain point when you're working with cameras that don't have camera control units that can grade individual cameras. And um, so many shooters now are using a variety of different cameras. So if you want to match Canon to Sony to Panasonic to Blackmagic, uh, you can use vMix to now do this. Yeah. And even Sony to Sony to Sony, because hey, we see differences between the same camera makes and models. And that's right, we've provided professional monitoring tools as well to help assist uh, operators in adjusting their cameras by providing a waveform monitor and a vector scope. Excellent. All right, let's take a look under the hood. In vMix 21, now each input can have the professional color correction tab, which provides these controls. Anybody that's familiar with color grading software in the market will be familiar with the lift, gamma, and gain controls. And as you can see here, it's got a waveform monitor, and we can switch from this menu uh, vector scope as well. So using these two tools, I can now go and grade this camera. It's looking pretty good already, but maybe I wanted to adjust it so it's a little bit less blue in the image and give it a nice warm uh, gamma tone. And I can just drag the slider and the gamma gain to do just that. We have hue controls, saturation controls, and I can also toggle it on and off so I can see exactly what my grade looks like. And there's also a basic autocorrect button that allows you to automatically uh, correct cameras and get you started uh, for just a couple of touch-ups to finalize the shot. And finally, there's presets. So you can save for a particular camera, and then you can import that preset into any production where you're using that camera for instant uh, color correction and matching. You could set up the multi-view on your uh, secondary display to show all your various inputs. So now you could compare this with your other cameras and when you wanted to uh, jump to another camera to grade, you would just go into that one and jump into it, grade that one, compare and contrast, and, and jump into it. So uh, easy way to f flip between cameras since this control panel is available for all inputs. So that's just a quick overview of the new professional color correction tools and features that are available in vMix 21. We're going to be releasing it in a couple of weeks after NAB. Thank you very much, Martin. This has been a look at vMix at NAB 2018. I'm Sean Lamb for Streaming Media Producer.